Okay, so in this video I will explain how the um, macro operator works inside a pi menu editor. So for example, if you're working on a level and um, you have some part of a mesh that you will try to make some custom shape on and perhaps you want to repeat that, you can use this operator to create a new tool uh, which will repeat that. So for example, I can just go inside here and you add a new macro operator and uh, we can call this the awesome extrude. And uh, let's put this to D, control and shift. And uh, we will have a bunch of commands, I could just add a couple here. So first you can use like an extrude. Yeah. Let's use the other one here with vertex normal so it works in all angles. And uh, let's attach this to command one. So if I run my new created macro you can see it. Yeah, let's copy this behavior and it looks like this. Yeah, so let's say we want the inset up here. You can record that as well and you paste it on the command two. Um, you should know that some commands in Blender works a bit different. So for example if I um, run this new macro right now you can see you get this draggle handle on the inset which is not really what I want. But what you can do then is that you can go inside the settings uh, for the inset and you can just add a couple of um, text to your code. So you can make like a semicolon and then write none with a capital N and press OK. And now if you run the macro you will see it will stop here. So let's take another extrude and we can put this on command tree and another one and two, two four and let's say on the end here we want like um, uh, like a bevel like that now let's place that on number five. Oh, this has been wrong we can just copy this from above here and we can paste this on uh, this one because it's basically the same command uh, and then in the bevel we can go in and change this so let's use a semicolon and then none So now if I run the macro it looks like this. It has just copied its shape. And so for example if you're working now on a level you can just select you know different parts and all direction doesn't matter. And now you just run the macro and voila. So as you can imagine this is quite a time saver. It's a really good thing. So yeah I hope you like this. Thanks.